How many Super Bowl rings does Tom Brady have? Future Hall of Famer, partial owner of the Las Vegas Raiders. Okay, Super Bowl with the Buccaneers, the Yucks, and the New England Patriots. I believe he has seven rings, but possibly eight. I can't even keep track. Well, Tom Brady, Tom Brady's running around here getting embarrassed by his wife. Now, if you don't remember, he was married to Giselle, who was a America's top model. She's a worldwide, internationally known model. In fact, for all intents and purposes, she was more well-known in name recognition than Tom Brady. I know it's hard to imagine that, but Tom Brady's just an American football player. Giselle has been worldwide, allegedly a yacht girl, allegedly a woman that, never mind, I won't say it. But, um, you know, any of these models, you guys know the modeling industry. These women are for sale, right? They, they basically, modeling agency is like an escort service. All right, these women have serviced many, many men. She actually was with Leonardo DiCaprio at one point for a short portion of their lives. Uh, models and prostitutes are synonymous. Similarly, uh, single women who date and prostitutes are synonymous. There's not much difference between either. So, I don't look at these women as and, and put them as high esteem and good judges of moral character and high highly uh, high moral compasses. Women and prostit- models and prostitutes are synonymous in my mind. There ain't much different. Okay, the only difference is one takes pictures and the other one sells pictures. I have no idea. They're at the highest level, all right. And the way they get over is they get on yachts with billionaires and all that shit, all right. So, like, I don't and any and any. Anybody that's ever had a friend or family work in modeling, they'll tell you the same thing. They got in there to model. Yep, actresses, similar. They got in there. Look at Harvey Weinstein, the whole thing. I did it for a couple of movie roles. They sold some puss. And then later on, you know, taking advantage of me. Okay, guys. Okay, but anybody, anybody that you know as a female, even a child actor that got into modeling, they'll tell you what happened. All of a sudden, somebody was offering them a little bit more money. They was like, you come over here. And I've been, I grew up in um, my teenage years and my early adult years in San Fernando Valley, California, home of the pornography industry, but home of a lot of celebrities that lived in Hollywood. So I grew up around celebrities in my high school and my early college years. And my early adulthood, nightclubs, celebrities, entertainers, basketball players, we, I lived around all of them. They'll tell you. They'll tell you that industry, you get somebody going to offer you some money for some sex or you're going to sell some sex to get a part. That's just how it works. Ninja. Male or female. Mm-hmm. Yep. Photo shoot, photo shoot. Some do. I actually used to be around uh, model mayhem where uh, photographers had di- digital SLRs. And um, there were some women that would have sex with you with, as a model or they will sell you some pussy on a modeling shoot. They'll sell it to you. I mean, it's wild. Mm. Yep. See, Model Mayhem days. Model Mayhem days. They'll be like, hey, I'll take some nudies for you. And if you want a little bit more, I'll, I'll drop that neck. So the industry is filled and ripe with that. It's rife with that, if you will. Uh, with that being said, he literally married. That's what he married. <laughs> and I'm not saying she is that. I'm just saying that the industry allows for that. The industry allows that. So if you marry anyone in the industry, video vixens, models, entertainers, actresses, uh, they've been passed around (laughs) by the time you married them. But a lot of people don't really want to acknowledge that, that that played a part in this, that played a part in this. So with that being said, Tom Brady, we're just going to say he was the good guy the entire time. And everybody made him out to be the bad guy. So he married her for status or whatever it was. He would loved her. And eventually he put one or two babies in her and maybe three. And then at some pivotal point of his career, towards the end, she wanted to act like, hey, I I care for you. I I don't want to see you get hurt. I want to see you get hurt. Well, the problem with that is during this time, it is now revealed that we already knew this, by the way, a year year ago. But she's now going to come public. With her boyfriend. It says right here. Giselle Bunchen, Bunchen, Ready to go public with new romance. New? Guys, this was written last week. Mm. (laughs) 
She's ready to go public with her new romance as Tom Brady's stunning $17 million Miami mega mansion nears completion. New boyfriend? Who's the new boyfriend? Well, let's scroll down. This guy, jujitsu instructor. Oh, apparently, the kid's jujitsu instructor. Now, what's going to be revealed is that they've been in a romance for a while. Could have been gone back. It, it certainly goes back to last year. It could have been years leading up to this. It could have been years. As long as them kids have been in jujitsu and she's been taking jujitsu, she probably has been getting her insides pushed to her esophagus by this guy. Now, take it back a year. Tom Brady, this was already the rumor. They were already on vacation together back then. And then they denied it. No, 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 no. He's just a friend. Oh, what kind of friend? I just want to say thanks. A special friend. So, that was a year ago when the divorce was finalized. She was quick to finalize the divorce, which is rare. But, of course, she was the breadwinner. They both were quick to finalize it. There was a reason why. Tom Brady found this out. That once he retired, let's take it back. She says, you need to retire. You need to come home. What does that mean when she says that? What that mean? She said, you better come home because my feet are getting put to sleep. You better come home. I got somebody. There's another bull in the ring. You better come home or I'm going to cheat on you. You better come home or I'm going to leave you to, with the, for this guy. This happened with Kevin Costner. Anytime a woman gives you this, that means another guy is in the picture. Another bull's in the ring. And Tom Brady probably knew this. He didn't want to acknowledge it. And he said, I didn't have proof. Another great coachism, I always tell you, you might not find out the reason you got divorced till years later. It might become clear. And just recently, he said, I just have to chalk it up. My wife has been cheating on me for years, according to Tom Brady. So that guilty conscience is telling you, you better come home, take care of these kids. And now, so this is when I tell you this chore play, this you need to take care of the home, you need to do chores. When women are fighting over these little things, Listen to me for the blue pill guys. Listen to me for the guys, you normie guys. If a woman's fighting over you for chores, you can guarantee it ain't about them chores. If a, Listen to me, gentlemen, because a lot of you guys don't want to put pressure on women. I put pressure on women because I've managed women all my life. I've never had to be buddy-buddy with them. I literally manage them so I can tell it like, is it like it is. If a woman tells you, a you as a husband that it's about chores, it ain't about no fucking chores. 100% chance there's another bull in the ring. 100% chance somebody's, she's considering monkey branching. 100% chance. Every single one of these, he don't do chores and he don't help. This bitch is ready to take the leap somewhere. That's it. Final. She's ready to divorce you. She's ready to go off and run off with a mate. She want to fuck her personal trainer. I don't know what it is, but this is the reason she's going to call. Well, it's fucked up. I don't like it. There's something else going on. She sees you worth more diverse, divorced than married. There's something going on with her. I guarantee it. Every single time. Every single time. So if a woman says he don't help around the house, just look at her and say, all right, who, who is it? Who is it? Who, who is it? Who's the guy? <laughs> Who's the guy? Tell me what's up. She catch a UTI, a urinary tract infection, or she get fucking herpes. She caught something. Something's up. Who is it? Okay. So that, yeah, the uh, you are emotionally absent. You work too much. You ain't never there. You push me to his arms. So now Giselle is going to say, because you divorce, because you played an extra year of football, you didn't retire. You went to the Buccaneers, won that Super Bowl. She kept telling you, retire, retire, retire. The whole time, Jiu-Jitsu man been in the position. Mm. Jiu-Jitsu man has been in the picture. The whole time, this guy was in the ring. The whole now. Were they boyfriend, girlfriend? No. They was just come over and he was wearing that peace leave out. That's all it was. And they had to keep it on the low low. She dropping off the kids to this ninja. She's smiling in his face. 
She meeting him in a dark place. She invited him over when Tom Brady working in the office. He doing private instructions in the fucking living room. He throwing her around the room and putting her in an arm bar and shit like that. There's a picture of her getting in the arm bar with this nigga. And this was before the divorce. Let me see here. Giselle Bunchin. How you spell that shit? All right. What, what, what's this dude's name? Is it jujitsu? Jujitsu. Let me see if I can pull up the pictures of her. Yep. Here she is right here. Where, where's she at? I got mad pictures of her. This is before the divorce right here. She rolling around the mat with this ninja locked up. And he like, oh, you got me. Oh, you twisting my kneecap. Look, there's more pictures. And she sent by guys. She posted these pictures. Brothers, let me tell you how cold the game is. Before she divorced, before Tom Brady retired, she posted these pictures on her Instagram. I'm going to say it again. Before Tom Brady retired the second time, she posted these on Instagram. That's the dude right there that she's going to come out with her relationship. And he commented (laughs) right here. Yep, foreplay. Her peace leave wetter than the Niagara Falls. Her piece leave wetter than the Niagara Falls rolling around on on the mat with this ninja. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is to not make her look bad. I'm not trying to make her look bad. Okay? But when you see stuff like this, just set the clock. The marriage is over. There she is paddleboarding with this ninja. They out paddleboarding. It's over. So when she called Tom Brady and said, hey, you need to come back home. And he said, man, I ain't doing it. I got one more year. I think we can win. Then he went to the Buccaneers. They won. She was salty. She didn't like it. And then she said, well, you're breaking up our family. I'm going to leave you. But, she, but at that point, she was already cheating on him. She was already considering it. And he retired from the Buccaneers, went back home, saw that shit, and he went back to the Bucs. She, he went back, and when he went back, they said Tom Brady's selfish. He don't care about his kids. What he did was he took them four months off. He tried to go to the Raiders. It didn't work out. He was plotting and planning. He went back. He went, took his kids to school and then found out she was getting her insides pushed to the esophagus, and he said, I'm going back to football. Then he went back. He tried to go to the Dolphins, the Raiders. He tried to do all kind of crazy shit. All right. But to be honest with you, let me show you that Tom Brady. This was, uh, let's see, right here. Look, this, this her with the kids. This her with the kids at jujitsu. Baby, why you taking jujitsu? Oh, I, I got to learn to protect myself. She then brought the kids. See, now this is the violation. This is the violation. The violation is she brought the kids around this ninja. Now that right there is means to get. Nicole Simpson, I'm not telling you she should. I'm just telling you, sometimes you might understand. Okay, you don't bring my kids around the ninja. Not when you, you don't bring my kids around the ninja. That's her out there paddleboarding with the ninja. Let's get the, let's get the date of the article. Let's get the date of the article. Uh, let's see here. This is her paddleboarding. November, uh, May 2023. So this is uh, almost a year ago. So that, remember, she coming out with her romance. Romance? Here she is on vacation with the ninja. Caught. <laughs> Caught right here. Gotcha, bitch. Caught. And this was a year ago. Uh, you know, uh, he a podcaster and shit. Here she is coming from jujitsu. Jujitsu is... Oh, somebody said you better get a DNA test on all them kids. So then you have to say, for how long you been doing jujitsu? There they are running and jogging. Bitch out here jogging. Okay, so with this being said, this is the reality. And for all intents and purposes, however long them kids been in jujitsu, that's how long she been cheating. It ain't that far away. 
So Tom Brady has to deal with this reality. I mean, fortunately for him, he's found out. So now they're going to play the goody two-shoe. She coming out. So Giselle's still the good girl. She's going to go public with her new romance. Really? She's going public with the man she destroyed her marriage for. And Tom Brady's going to catch that fucking L. Because he's going to be the bad guy. Right? He's still the bad guy. Well, he didn't want to retire, so he pushed her into his arms. He pushed her. He caused this. That's what they're going to say. And, of course, that's how men take that L. And he has to move on and save face. But guess what? She tried to crawl back to Tom because Tom started dating some young junior pieces of Calico, junior college. He started going to the junior college, and then they start saying she started trying to crawl back. And he was like, nah, bitch. Nope. You know why he said nah? Because he discovered that they've been in a relationship. She's been cheating on that ninja the whole time and tried to get him to sabotage his career. Anybody that doesn't think that this is true, I mean, the evidence is out there. It's too much detail. It's too much detail. That's exactly what happened. And a lot of guys get put in that situation. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday and of course we're back for the evening live streams as well check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here and also the links are in the description box i will see you there new 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 world order